This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to illustrate one of the plugins that we talked about. Smooth Skin by Dashwood Cinema Solutions is another tool which we can use to enhance our images. You can learn more at dashwood3d.com. It supports Final Cut 10, Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. It's $99. There's a free trial available. What it does is it does automatic face detection and then smooth skin or removes and reduces blemishes, lightens shadows under the eyes, and like some of the other plugins we've talked about today, it requires FX Factory. Let me show you how smooth skin works. Here's our model, perfectly lovely person, a little bit of wrinkles under the eyes. We can see it here in, in her face. And maybe what we want to do is we want to smooth this out. Now, there is a raging debate, and I can totally understand this. We don't want people to look plastic. You don't want to take someone who's 40 and attempt to make them look 20. I think that does a disservice to the actor or actress. But there are times where uh, you may want to reduce a facial blemish or just trying to clean somebody up more so perhaps in a romantic comedy than perhaps in a crime drama. So how does it work? Select the clip as always and let's go to the effects menu and we'll go down to, whoops, go up to Dashwood Smooth Skin, grab it and drag it across, drop it on top of the clip and instantly her skin is smoother. The default settings add some level of smoothing to the skin. Let's just do a comparison. This is before and this is the default settings after. Now, what makes a program like Smooth Skin worth using is that it isn't blurring the entire image. Notice how it's retaining eye detail. It's retaining hair detail. We're picking up fabric textures. All this stuff is good. We're just simply smoothing the face, the skin. How? Because it's recognizing the difference between that which is skin and everything else inside the image. The way it works is this. By the way, we can also save presets, so if you've got the same close-up of the same actor, you can create the setting once, save it as a preset, and then just simply apply that preset to other clips without having to do copy-paste. There's several steps. First, let's have it show us what it's detecting as the face. This is where it says the face is, and it's dead on. Then it says, this is where I think the skin is. The way you interpret this is that which is black is not skin. That which is white is skin, and that which is a gray is maybe skin, maybe not. Your goal is to have the skin be as close to solid white as you can get it, and everything that's not skin be black. Now, you can't get there perfectly, and you don't really need to get there perfectly, but the less that you select the hair, the more hair texture you retain. The more you select the skin, the more it will become possible to smooth the face. Now, skin blur and skin texture depth, these are all settings that control the blurring of the skin. We've got to scroll down here to where it says Skin Mask Advanced. So what we're going to do, uh, let's do RGB. Remember, we want to try to have the hair be black and the face be white. So we're going to pull down the blue because the one thing that doesn't exist in skin is a lot of blue. And we'll just adjust this. I'm looking to get the face as white as possible, but nothing in the eyes. And nothing in the hair. There we go. I'm going to just keep tweaking with that. Okay, so let us pretend that we like that, because otherwise I'll spend all of my time tweaking. But I've been able to keep most of the hair detail, definitely the eye detail. So then I'm going to go back up to the top here and change it to original image. This is where we started. This is the smoothing that we ended up with. Now, this to me is too much. We've gone way past skin smoothing into Barbie. So I'm going to grab the skin blur and scale it back a bit. Okay, now we've definitely smoothed it. If we compare it to the original image, notice how that's just starker. But I haven't taken the creases out. 
I haven't taken the the lines around her eyes out. I've just minimized them. I've lightened the shadows. And the cool part of this is, is that because I'm using face detection as her hair changes or as her head moves, it's still detecting the settings that I've dialed into this particular effect, which means that wherever she moves, the effect moves with her without me having to do keyframing, without me having to do individual adjustments on a frame-by-frame -frame basis. The product is called Smooth Skin, and it's published by Dashwood Cinema Solutions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 146. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.